Here, it, you just have to select in the robot what payload it has. Now, different models of robots uh, will have different things here. So it may say what flange type do you have, or um, like this one did with the what kg payload robot did you have. Sometimes you have to select stuff in there, sometimes you don't. Uh, I think majority of the time you do though. So it's kind of just finalizing its configuration. It's kind of a lengthy process because like I said, it's generating uh, the entire uh, robot cell and physical virtual robot that is. All right, so we got our cell here opening up. Like I said, it takes a good minute to, to load this up and depending on how fast your computer is, it can take much longer. So over here is like your organizer, just like any other software. Here's your robot. So uh, we're going to zoom in, rotate, all that good stuff. Uh, if you have not used this software, I suggest that you uh, go to the help menu, the view, and then mouse commands. So you're going to need these mouse commands to really get familiarized with this. Now, if you use CAD softwares in the past, you'll probably get up to speed with this fairly quickly. But as you can see, you want to be able to pan left and right. You want to be able to zoom in and out. You want to be able to rotate around the object, uh, especially once you start adding things in there. So there's your pan function. So just utilize that the, the, the mouse commands to be able to do that. So we're going to select our teach pin right here.